Hey Becky, here is your system. I just want to go through a few of the connections for you on one video and then I'll do another one showing you how to actually start all this up. Uh, battery leads here have got these um, special connectors on there. They'll plug into the battery. You'll see how that happens in just a moment. So that's those two there. Here's your main connections through across to the inverter. That'll have a cover on eventually, obviously. All that's covered off. Here's your two 40 volt leads. Uh, one of them there says AC out and the other says AC in. So AC in, that's going to be your shore power connection. AC out is going to be main power heading out to these safety switches up here. So I've got one labelled here as shore power. So that's shore power coming in on that one. And then you've got two, I've allowed two here, so one will be normal light and power, and the other one you could use for your air cons. So your spark is going to have to connect in on the, the top side of all of those for those um, connections. Um, here's your solar charge controller. And uh, we've got two circuit breakers here for the solar panels. You'll only need one because you're only using four panels at the moment, but I've allowed for, for, um, for eight panels. So it says PV array one and two. So what you're going to do, you're going to have the positive of one, the positive of two, positive of three, positive of four are going to connect in on there. And I'll, um, I'll open it up in a moment so you can see inside. And all the negatives will go into that little blue junction box there. Hang on, let me get a better angle. I'll come around here so you can see where they're going to go. So your, your leads can come through. I've got a couple of test leads in there still. You can see where I've wired in the positive and where I've wired in the negatives. So the negatives all loop together inside that junction and each positive goes to its own little um, circuit breaker. Um, the other little blue looking coloured circuit breaker there in between with the red wire hanging out, that is a circuit breaker for that guy there which is the Orion 48 to 12 volt converter. The other thing inside the box is the Serbo GX and you can see the uh, plug there with the yellow mark on that is your HDMI lead so that's coming out here and uh, I've given you a 5 meter HDMI extension for the color screen the color screen is oh here it is I think I would have had this out of the box for you I just packed it all away so we can see what it does Um, so it's got a USB port on there. That's purely for power only. And uh, where's the other connector? There it is there. HDMI there for the touchscreen. So what you're going to do, you're going to run that 5 meter extension up into the bus somewhere, wherever you're going to mount this. There's a little mounting panel, a little mounting bracket there, instructions for that. Um, run that upstairs and then just somewhere nearby have a, a USB, you know, one of those charger type, USB connectors just to give power to the touchscreen. I've tried running it over a five meter USB extension and it doesn't work sadly. Um, okay, so the other connectors we've got on here is um, your main, well, let's do it this way so you can actually see the labels. So we've got main battery breaker. So if you turn this one off, you've disconnected battery power. MPPT circuit breaker, that's will disconnect power for this guy the uh, little 20 amp one there for the 12 volt converter as we said and then your um, solar panel arrays there um, that is probably about it I think as far as connections go on here oh one other one um, that we've got here is this data lead here goes into V bus uh, that goes into the Servo GX inside of there. So same with this data lead here goes into the Servo GX so everything can talk to it itself. And oh, the 12 volt. Did I mention that before in the video? I've forgotten already. Uh, 12 volt out there, positive and negative. Um, so yeah. So if you need to leave that off, then just leave off that that one there. So this end of it here is not live while you're messing around doing stuff setting up. Um, Solar cables can come in like I've done here or what might be easier is if you Just stretch one of them out to a 25 mil and then you can just have the conduit go straight in there for neatness um, 
I've got a USB lead here, a little short one, just while I had the touch screen working. I'll remove that because I'll keep that for my testing. Um, all right, yep, so your 240 volt cables have got some uh, holes there available for that. So that's where he's going to connect in there. Actives and neutrals, your Sparky will connect those up. And where's it going? Somewhere down there is a an earth terminal. And um, yeah, so he'll need to connect a main earth wire from that off to the bus chassis. So if he can put a lug on, it's a bit hard to see in there. But anyway, in real life, it's easy. Um, yeah, put a, a main earth cable from that point bring it out through one of these holes and screw it to the bus chassis slash bus body somewhere underneath one of the bins just to earth the body of the bus. All right, um, I'll do another video now with it starting up.